uh, sudden cardiac death in student athletes is a rare uh, but very dramatic event. And the students are thought to be the healthiest members of our society, so it's particularly uh, poignant when we hear about one of them having a catastrophic uh, event such as this. The incidence is on the order of 1 in 100,000 to 1 in 200,000. And so they're very rare numbers, but when you look at the number of athletes participating in the country, which is over several million, you'll hear about a couple of these deaths a year. There's a number of diseases uh, that have been recognized in those students where it's been determined uh, that there was a cardiac cause of death. Uh, the number one cause is an abnormally thick heart muscle. It's known as hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. The number two cause is an abnormality of the artery that feeds the heart, the coronary artery, and the student experiences a heart attack much like an adult does. Uh, after that, there's a number of causes, many of which are primary irregularities of the heart rate or arrhythmias. So these conditions are rare but dramatic. Interestingly, when we look at the patients who've had one of these events and we look back, almost always there was some warning that we could have responded to and perhaps avoided the event. In particularly the competitive football player, we have to realize that they're wearing a full set of pads, and so it's the same as us being out in a coat in the heat of the summer. So they cannot dissipate their heat as efficiently as somebody who's not wearing all that equipment. And we have to be very, very attentive to the fact that their heat levels can build to dangerous levels. So it's, it's really a balancing act to have them push to uh, achieve better performance, but at the same time to be cognizant of this need for frequent breaks to remain hydrated. Particularly in the heat, we need to watch the student's hydration. And uh, there should be water supplies available uh, to the student to take advantage of at any time. One thing the student can watch for is when they go to the bathroom to see whether or not their urine is dark. If it's dark, they're behind, and they need to make that up quickly. Uh, certainly the coaches need to be watching for uh, evidence that the student may not be behaving normally, that they're dizzy, that they're clutching at their chest, or they seem to have breathing problems. All those would be serious warning signs that something may be going on. The parents, I think, should be sure that their kids are, are eating well, that they're getting good sleep, and that they're starting off the day well hydrated. As we perspire, we lose not only water, but we lose salt and other electrolytes as well. And so replacing them is important, particularly for sustained endurance events. When we think about marathon runners and cyclists, if they were to not replace their electrolytes over time, they would have a disturbance because they're only replacing the water and not the electrolytes. So our, our major concerns are a syncope or fainting with exercise, particularly while they're exerting themselves. It's common to see people faint after they've exercised, but in the midst of exercise, that's a worrisome sign. A severe chest pain during exercise is a worrisome sign, and those are the ones that really get our attention the most. So as one of the top 10 cardiac centers for children in the country, a children's medical center sees a lot of these patients. We're referred the unusual cases, and we have a better sense of the problems that these kids are experiencing. That also gives us insight to look into how we might prevent them in the future.